Uh, my name's Phil Tuttle. I'm a native fisheries biologist. Grew up on a farm in Holden, Utah. Tiny little town. When I see a picture of a big fish, I'm trying to figure out timing. I'm making notes. If I hear about a legendary fish, you know, I'm, I'm looking for that fish. I don't know, I was really young, like four or five, six, young. And I'll never forget, you know, the first fly I ever tied was just pretty comical looking. You know, it caught a fish and uh, holy smokes, it all, it all just erupted from there. I would definitely say my grandpa was pretty influential. He was a fishy dude. He had this like, old school just totally retro orange boat had like orange cushions and you know as far as an angler growing up he was he was the hero my favorite setup is uh, a loop cross nine and a half footer and a seven um, with an opti runner i think that's just a, a perfect match they look great together uh, it's a perfect balance as far as weight distribution and casting balance in my hand and in that seven there's just so much crossover you know between species I caught pike a week ago two weeks ago I was sticking carp with that thing I and mean, I've caught bonefish I've caught tiger musky I've caught big browns I've caught tons of species I've caught stripers and that seven nine and a half footer in the cross is match made in heaven for that loop off people. Yeah, I, uh, I am definitely a stalker. I'm really nerdy. I really like bugs. I really like research. And I just love science. So I'm like constantly digging into really what's going on as far as timing and wire fish where and here and there. And I'm, I'm obsessed with that. And and just finding new places and new species. And, but the number one thing is just big fish. When I see a picture of a big fish, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know, timing. I'm making notes, you know, I'll make predicting models that help me predict timing based on snowpack and average monthly temperatures and, and counts of particular fish in certain areas at certain times. And I have to give some of my credit to those models for some of the success I have. I also just like to just stock big fish. If I hear about a legendary fish, you know, I'm, I'm looking for that fish. I once heard about a fish that was supposedly huge in a weird place and he told me about it and I was like, no way. And he tried to catch it. And I know some other of my buddies that tried to catch it and saw it and they confirmed that it was there, but nobody could catch it. And I went over there one night with Derek and I just thought, you know, this is a big fish, it's a bow, probably eat a mouse, let's just hit it hard. And we blind cast it in the dark from like, I don't know, nine o'clock at night until oh, 2.30, three o'clock and uh, toilet bowl flushed and the line went tight. And next thing I knew I was holding a 34 inch bow on a mouse, it's awesome.